Hello, and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm Nicarda McLean with your World Indoor Championships Women's 60 Meters Form Chart. Now with two quality competitors each, the Poles, Americans, Jamaicans, and Swiss appear best placed in the race to succeed Ivorian Muriel Lahore as the fastest 60 meter woman in the world. Here's how we stack them on the eve of action in Belgrade. At number 10 is Zainab Doso who is one of the latest additions to the rapidly lengthening line of young Italian sprinters seeking to emulate the success of Olympic 100-meter champ Marcel Jacobs. The 22-year-old took a major step in that direction by securing her first national 60-meter title with a 7.16 Italian record effort in late February. Having lopped more than two-tenths of a second from her preseason 60-meter personal best, Geraldine Fry definitely qualifies as an ascending talent. With her 7.15 PB in the final of the 60 at Swiss Indoor Nationals, the 24-year-old moved up to third on the small Alpine Nation's all-time performers list. Given the inconsistencies with her start, Olympic 100-meter bronze medalist Sharika Jackson probably has as wide a range of possible outcomes as any of the top contenders in this field. Encouragingly though, it did appear that the indoor running rookie had a bit more to give in her PB setting 7.12 race at the Tyson Invitational on February 11th. A plus starter due to her strong background in the sprint hurdles, in which she was a semi-finalist in Tokyo, 20-year-old Pia Skrzyzewska could announce herself to the world in the Serbian capital. An impressive 7.12 PB while hanging on grimly to a marauding Ewa Swoboda at the Polish Indoor Championships suggested as much. Buoyed by a brilliant outdoor season in 2021 where she made it all the way to the Olympic 100m final, Londoner Daryl Nita has continued to affirm her status as one of the planet's best short sprinters in 2022. Her 7.11 PB at the Mueller Indoor Grand Prix came in a contest in which she pressed double Olympic champion Elaine thompson Hero all the way to the line. Jamaican teen sensation Brianna Williams shrugged off a sluggish showing at the Milrose Games by putting together a stellar two-race series at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix on February 6th. The highlight was a massive 7.09 PB in her heat which raises hope that the rising star could just give herself an early 20th birthday present by grabbing her first individual senior medal in Belgrade. America's Mary Beth Saint Price has been one of the most intriguing figures on the indoor athletic scene thanks in large part to her eye-catching consistency. The one-time Colorado State University Ram who clocked a 704 PB to hold off a top-notch field at the Tyson Invitational hasn't been slower than 714 in eight races this term. A member of a historically great streak in her time at LSU, Micaiah Briscoe has continued to make significant strides in her post-college career during the ongoing season, compiling a record of five wins and two second-place finishes in seven 60-meter starts. In the final at U.S. Indoors, she outdueled the formerly undefeated Sam Price to successfully defend her crown. Given her talent and track record, one figures that Mujinga Kambunji, who won bronze in Birmingham four years ago, is about as good a bet for a medal as any in the field. The double Olympic sprint finalist warmed up for her second appearance in the 60 at World Indoors by motoring to a season's best, 7.05 to claim a seventh Swiss 60-meter title in February. Poland's Ewa Swoboda has coupled a bullet start with electric acceleration to lay waste to all in her path so far in 2022. Among the conquered, double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hero, who was edged at the Copernicus Cup. With her blazing 699 national record run to claim a sixth Polish 60 meter title, the colorful 24 year old added her name to the now 10 woman list of athletes who've broken the mythical 7 second barrier. On the evidence of what we've seen so far, the title is clearly hers to lose. And that's a wrap for our women's 60 meters form chart for the upcoming World Indoor Championships. Now the men's version will be out shortly so you can keep an eye out for that one. Thanks as always for sparing the time to check out the content. Until next time, Godspeed.